Hello, my name is Sherilyn Marlowe and I work with Yokogawa's Liquid Process Analyzers and today I'm going to walk you through the steps of how to set up our Flexa 402 to trip a maintenance alarm or an indication on the display or a contact relay that you can switch um, for those applications that are very nasty, very dirty, where we have coding that happens over them frequently, we can watch these values to either auto start cleaning or give us some sort of alarm indication. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go under menu, then we're going to go under setting, and you can either scroll or you can press the down arrow to error settings. We're gonna turn on underneath pH alarm setting and measurement alarm, the impedance value to be instead of maintenance, which if it is set to maintenance, um, too high for the reference impedance. A maintenance required would just give you the blue triangle and it would flash on the display. But we can switch this to failure so that we can actually have it trip a alarm on the um, contact relays. We're also going to go back and under sensor status, we want to make sure that these are t detected to be failures for the impedance one and the impedance two. If they're not set to failures, then you won't have the contact capabilities. You've made a change so you have the saved disk. So now we're gonna go home and we're gonna go back under settings and you're gonna go under contact output. So you could have either have done the house back into menu or the back arrow until you got to this converter settings screen. Hit the contact outputs. We're gonna configure S2, our contact two. Right now it's set to off. We're gonna set it for an alarm. And now we've made a change so we're gonna hit save. So that is all you have to do for the aspect of the alarm setting to get it um, up and running. So now you can set that contact in the display to be used. However, there's one more thing we need to do. We need to go under menu and I did get an alarm on my sensor. So that's why it's got the X there, but that's not because of the setting you can see. I'll show you. It's because I have an impedance too high. That means I got to set that value. So again, what I did is you're gonna go under the sensor, the sensor menu, you're gonna go under um, setting, and we're gonna go under well list settings. Here, when you scroll down, you have impedance one, which is our pH measurement, so that should always be high, and we have it set to disabled if you don't want it to indicate if it goes over, but we also have impedance two. We have it set to low. Impedance two, we need to have a high limit and we need a low limit. It's set to low because it is a traditional reference. That is what it would be set to. If we want a high limit, we want to change it. I'm going to try something. I don't know if it'll take it. We can set it to 500 and now we're not going to get any alarms until it reaches that 500 um, kilo ohms. So you can set these high and low limits to whatever you want. And then, but you need to set it from disabled. You need to change it to enabled and you hit save. And now your system is ready to go and set for you to be able to trip your contact relays. Just to show you, I still have a reference impedance too too high because the sensor that I'm using is a demo sensor and it is very clogged at the moment and I need to clean it. So that's what that reference indication for me is. Alrighty, I hope you found this informative and useful. Thank you.